I'm in South Carolina and it's rather humid, but I'm here to help a family, so why don't we take a look? Hi, Hi. we're the Bentons. I'm Amber. I'm Greg. And we have two boys, Rivers, who's 10, and Hunter, who's eight. Stop it, that hurts. Hunter is a strong-willed child. Stop it. Rivers is the fuel to Hunter's fire, and he instigates Hunter a lot. Dude, stop! The boys fight on a daily basis. Ah, oh, Annie! I'm gonna kill you. Rivers and Hunter both have potty mouths, is what I like to call it. You're a man. Hunter. You're a like a man. For my discipline techniques, I do a lot of yelling, which is not very effective at all. Turn off your light and get in the bed now. I make a lot of threats to the boys. You go to your room now. You're supposed to be in your room. Go to your own room. I'm just wore out. Where's the follow through on discipline? So I wonder why these boys just do what they want. Stop it now. Go to your room. I'm probably a little more aggressive than Amber is as far as discipline. What are you doing, son? Why would you do that? They know how far they can go and how much they can get away with. Yeah. Get the gloves and go put them up now. Once I reach that point, then I will respond. I'm disappointed in you. I mean, seriously, like, no room to breathe. He wants us to build up them, get weight in here, and then run around the house, because it helps us run faster. Physical strength and being physically fit, that, that is a priority. They work out with weights. Me pushing them, I'm giving them that little extra edge. I do want my boys to be tough. You getting tired already? Just listen to Dad. Rivers, you're faster, but you're not hitting strong. What kind of perfection is he looking for? Get down there on your homework now. And Rivers' big problem is his homework. Sit at the table so you're not daydreaming out there. He can't even get a book out without us there over him. I'm not staying up at 11 o'clock tonight doing homework, son. Hurry up. You've been studying this for all week, and you can't tell me the Mississippi River? To sit up here and learn. How's this little boy meant to get his homework done? He's a nervous wreck. Don't you dare Hunter. do it. Hunter. Boy, what's wrong with you? Put that down. Things escalate, and it turns the whole house upside down. Hunter! You didn't know that. Jump on my that? couch. At times I have felt like we were going to fall apart and the boys were going to be the demise of our family. Rivers, go to your room right now. Stop! We can't handle it anymore and we need some help. Stop. Super Nanny, please come save us now. Hey guys, I know you're frustrated, but please hold on in there because I'm going to be with you pretty soon. When Joe first walked in, I couldn't believe she was standing there at that door. I didn't know what to even say to her. Hi, pleased to meet you. Hey, Joe, I'm Greg. Hi, nice Greg. to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Hunter. Hi, Hunter. Pleased to meet you, Joe. And is this your brother here? Yes, the older brother, Rivers. Hi, Rivers. Hey. Nice to meet you, Joe. How are you? Um, what I would like to see is just you guys do what you normally do. And what the boys usually do is play outside. Get him, buddy. Get him. Get him, Hunter. Get him. Good shot, buddy. I know Dad has some unusual methods in how he keeps his boys fit. Get him, Hunter, get him. And I really wanted to ask him about it. What's the purpose of the weights? Just to help them be stronger. We got the boys doing all the different exercises to work on their strength and work on their development. Is this, you've been lifting the weights, you've got the muscles? Yes, I work out because it gets me a six pack and chicks little six packs. I want to teach them how to take care of their sales as men. Above all else, I can see that Dad really values being a man. Don't let him get you, Hunter. Come on, son, you got to run him down. Why are you so tired already? All right, come on, get up. After Dad went away, Rivers came to Mum to share a problem with her. Hunter, why are you calling him names? Honor. Stop it. Keep your hands to yourself and your comments to yourself. What did he call him? He told him he was gay. Mm -hmm. And um called him a 
These boys should not be using a homophobic derogatory slur. It's offensive. It's morally not right. So is that quite typical then of Hunter to be abusive with his words? Yeah, very abusive with his words all the time. I can see that emotionally it's very upsetting for you. I want people to like him. And I don't want my child to be the one that nobody wants around, which is what we've got right now. Do people talk about it? They do. Where do you think he gets that ugly mouth from? I don't know. He's his own person. Mum's acting all mystified about the language that the kids are using. But, you know, it's not rocket science to work out where these kids are learning that language from. With the boys back inside, it was time for River's homework. Oh, Rivers and homework. That is a very long, drawn-out process every day. We're going to go over his spelling words, so we're not up until midnight tonight. Rivers started to get the books out, and then before we knew it, we were into a spelling test. Gigantic. G-I-G-A-N-T. I see. I saw that Rivers was relying on Dad to give him the answers. He's not going to learn anything this way. A. No, S-T-O-M-A-C-H. Again. So Dad started to lose patience. Ho, 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 ho. Put a mark. You don't know that one. Let's get through these quickly. A-S-P-I-R-E-R. -E no, you don't know that one. Spell Boston. B-O-S-T-A-R-D. No. Hunter. Get out of here. And then Hunter came in, and then Hunter wanted a full-blown conversation. We're studying. Put that stick down. No, B-O-S-T-O-N. I was just thinking, how is this really helping Rivers? All right, you know which ones you miss. All right, those five you miss, aren't you going there and write them out two times each? I think that his parents have made him feel like a nuisance, like a burden. There is no patience, there's no tolerance, and then it leads to him feeling so incompetent about doing any of his homework. The problem is here, at this table. So you think that the problem lies with Rivers? Yes. Boys can be very aggressive and mischievous, especially Hunter. Hunter. I really wanted to find out if Hunter understood the impact on his family when he misbehaves. And so I decided to have a conversation with him. We have such an aggressive family. Right. Who do you think's more aggressive? My daddy. Your dad. Sometimes he's just unhappy because my mama was unhappy with him. My mama says to my daddy, get out my life and stuff like that. Right, OK. So, basically, mommy and daddy have their arguments and stuff like that. It usually oh. happens at night around 11 and 9 and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then how does that make you feel? It makes me feel like you're about to divorce. And have you ever heard your parents mention that word before, divorce? Mm -hmm. This was quite surprising to hear this from Hunter because I hadn't seen mum and dad in a place where I thought it was that bad. Something smells good. Sometimes parents try too hard to cover up the little flaws that are happening there and then, but you know that there's got to be something going on, otherwise you wouldn't be there. Father God, we just give you thanks for this meal. We pray that you'll be with us this evening. In your gracious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks for today. Right. And Thank um, you. I'll see you tomorrow for the family meeting. Okay. Thank okay, thanks, you. thanks. See you Bye. Have a good night. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I am very nervous knowing I'm going to sit down with Joe. I've got all ideas. She's going to tell Greg and I it's not the kids, it's Greg and I that are causing these issues that's in our home. Well, it's been an interesting observation day, to say the least. But at the end of the day, I'm able to read between the lines. That's my job. So we get to have a family meeting. I hope they're ready for it. So let's talk about discipline. There isn't really a discipline in this house. You talk a good talk, but there is no following through. There is no warning. There is no, this is what we expect from you. You're right, the boys don't know what their consequences are. And everybody has to learn that. There are consequences, whether they're good or bad, for whatever action you take. And it's about teaching these kids to not be impulsive, but to listen, take direction, and do as they're told. 
Okay, so let's talk about homework. Rivers, he's very, very nervous when he does his homework. Sorry. Most definitely. The longer we sit here, the more frustrated we get, the more nervous Rivers gets. It's creating this hostility between you all, Can't and you're making on. the situation worse. I think that there's a good, happy medium in being able to find more independence in doing the subjects he can do and the ones that he is going to need more help with and pacing that homework so that you're not forever spending three or four hours a night doing that. Are we ready to make a change for that? Okay, so let's knuckle down and talk about the boys to men stuff. I've listened to you talk about them needing to be mentally strong and be tough and be able to pack a punch. But where does it leave room for the three of you to be more emotionally connected? It's not unmanly for them to be in, in tap with their emotions. It's very important because it allows them to have smart, intelligent conversations that can lead to resolution rather than using their fists. I wasn't happy in the slightest to hear Hunter's mouth. He thinks it's okay to go around calling people a No, that's not okay. And he claims Daddy says it. You lead by example. And what role model are you being? It's not okay. It's got to change. It's got to change. You've kept quiet, but your mouth said a lot. Look at this. You've got a wife who's almost too scared to speak at the table in case it causes conflict. It's hard to point flaws out because you know it's going to resort in an argument sooner or later. Saying that, I do want to talk about communication because communication between the pair of you is hot when it shouldn't be. Hunter has told me that this is what's gone down. You fire off at one another, you get nasty with one another, and it's not good. Mm -mm. And everything that you're seeing from your children has come in from what's been going on between the pair of you. Hunter's scared that his parents are gonna get a divorce. I'd like to get busy doing some work. So I've watched the kids misbehave. Hunter's told me what he has. Everything isn't what it seems. So I do believe mum and dad are in for a wake-up call. I need to show mum and dad what effect their arguing is having on their family. Let's take a look at some video footage and talk about what we're going to see here, OK? We have such an aggressive family. Who do you think's more aggressive? My daddy. Your dad? Sometimes he's just unhappy because my mama was unhappy with him. My mama says to my daddy, get out my life and stuff like that. How do you feel when you have to listen to that? It makes me feel like you're about to divorce. And have you ever heard your parents mention that word before, divorce? And have they both said it, or has one parent said it? It's usually my mom who says it. There was this silence, and you could see that they were both thinking, wow, you know, this is our son saying this. I knew that I had now touched some very raw nerves and I knew it was time for us all to sit down and, and get talking. And Dad wasted no time. A whole volcano erupted there and then in front of me. You come in here in front of me and my wife and start bringing up divorce as if we're about to get a divorce. You turn this to something that it's not. Turning what into what? This whole please? situation. If you're Greg became very defensive. He felt that, you know, he was coming off looking bad. Then you insinuate that we're on the brink of a divorce because my child told you that. Nobody that's has not insinuated so. we're on the brink of a divorce, well, baby. Then, that's Hunter what it seems said, like to me. No, that's Hunter, what it seems like to me. Hunter, that's what she's trying minute. to portray. No, Hunter I'm not waiting a minute. I'm said, not going to be a part of it. Hunter just said, my mom 
has talked about divorce. So you said that in front mom, of them? Yes, I've said it in front of them. Okay. I have said, why right. don't we just get a divorce if we're this unhappy? I have said that. Okay. Hunter's expressing his feelings to somebody he feels like he can open up to. And you should respect that. I do respect that. I don't respect Joe taking him out there by himself and start putting words in his and getting him to say things about divorce. And then, and Frank, then I didn't come put over here and put on a tape and like, this is what's going on with your family. I mean, it wasn't good at all to listen to this man feel this way, but I realized that the truth had hit him hard. Do you know what, Greg? You refuse to accept and listen and respect what your wife has to say because you don't like what you're hearing. That's not so. Really? Joe's so, not here wait to hurt minute. us. She's wait here minute. to help us. I'm asking you. Since, all, since everything's coming out, mm -hmm. it's a big surprise now. Why haven't you ever said anything? You know how we all feel. You know I love you. You know your children love you. You know we all love you. But the fact is, we have problems in this family that need to be resolved. And I'm at my last resort. No, it's not the last resort. Yes, it is. So this is the last it's, resort. It's been, how long have we had our boys now? Eight, ten years between the two of them? We have problems. And for you to sit there and say we don't, you're in denial. I mean, we are dysfunctional, and nobody's blaming it just on you. Okay. It's all of us. It's me and you as a pair fighting the way we do constantly around our boys. There's a better way for us to handle our situations than what we're doing now. So, you got anything to say? No. Not a word. Don't shut down, Greg. Don't shut down. No, this y'all's ball game. Y'all finish it. No, I told you. It's I told our you. Ball game. Don't throw me under the bus. And this is exactly what you did. See, and this so is the problem. I don't. I, I, I don't see what you, got you see. What you wanted. No, you, you, got what you, you feel wanted. like it's all being so put you on you. Your ball games. Nobody you know has thrown you under point, the bus. At this point, I don't bus. care what any of y'all say. Greg, don't quit. Greg. Will you just give me the respect to talk for two minutes, please? I'm not talking to you. Will you give me the respect? I'm not even talking to you. And what? I hope you're happy. I showed mum and dad a video of Hunter being aware of the word divorced being used. And dad lost his call. Will you just give me the respect to talk for two minutes, please? I'm not talking to you. Will you give me the respect? I'm not even talking to you. And what? I hope you're happy. She wants to talk to you. I don't want to talk. Listen, I feel like a lot of these situations, you are the one taking them out of context. Hunter felt comfortable enough to go to Joe and air out his problems. That's his he right. Didn't just wait go, a minute, no, I'm wait, no, you wait a minute. Let's I'm finish talking. that. He didn't that just go there and say that. She look asked what you're him. Doing. Look what you're she doing. got that out look of what, him. Look what you're doing. He, Watching both parents talk to one another is no healthy situation. They talk over each other, not listening to the other person, and it's a shambles. Time out. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Okay, and hold on, let me just get something out of my bag. Hold on a minute. Time so I brought in a timer to let this family know that every time it turns, that they have two minutes to talk and the other person has to be disciplined enough to listen to what they have to say. The pair of you, you start to talk, then you talk over, you start to talk and you talk over. Nobody's listening. You talk. When this water runs out, then you start, okay? Listen to what the other person's saying. Hear it, and then respond. Joe was a safe place for Hunter to go to, and I think you feel like I knew all about that. It was as big a surprise to me as it was to you. So a lot of things, you're taking out of context, and then you're getting offended at me and upset with me because you think I'm throwing you under the bus. You're very well aware of the problems around here, just as I am, just as the two boys are. So nothing should be a surprise.
The only point I'm trying to make is I'm not shocked by what you're saying. I just, I don't like the way that we went about it. I'm not saying that Hunter's creating things. I, I do, he's obviously heard the word because he said that his mama said it. And, you know, if that word is being thrown around, then, you know, let's do something about it. We say a lot of words in anger that we shouldn't say and not meaning it. So that, that's a fault and that's something we need help with and I recognize that. That's an area that we need tremendous help in. I think the timer worked well. As they started to recognize it was important to listen to one another, it actually brought their tempers down. So I think it's a good little measure for those first five or 10 minutes when they're like two balls in a china shop. I want to now do what I have to do to make things right and better for my children. Because if we don't change, Hunter's never gonna change. The fact is now we're looking at boys that are in a place that everything they take now, they're gonna take into their adulthood. What kind of got me the most is it's not about me. You know, it's about my wife and it's about my two sons. It's about the Benton family. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to change things. I've been ready. Well, let's, let's do it. You mean you're not gonna kick me out of your house? I guess I'll let you stay a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> So now with Greg on board, I wanted to dive in straight away and work out homework for Rivers. So I am going to have to put in a technique that would allow Rivers to identify when he needed his parents' help and when he could do it himself. The subjects that you need more help on, you're going to place an M and D on. Does anybody know what M and D stands for? Most difficult. <laughs> no, but that was pretty good. Oh, that was good. Okay, mum and dad. Oh, oh okay. Right. The work that you don't need mum and dad's help for have rivers on them. And the reason for this rivers is because I want you to become more confident doing your homework yourself and not being dependent on mum and dad to give you the answers all the time. The rivers, you're going to put your stickers on the appropriate books. Okay, so let him do it. Right, you do it. Yeah, let <laughs> him do it. it. Right. So you put an R on there. Shh. Telling him. The whole thing's. Let him do it, let him do it. Greg was still moddy coddling him through everything. Hey, okay, let him do it. Right. He's got to think for himself. He's got to think for himself. Because he's not going to have you always, no, is he, I'm in that class? going to be there, buddy. Joe recognized right away us being right over him. It's got to stop. The last part of homework is creating some boundaries between the parent and Rivers. And now, okay, so we're going to find you a place for you to go when it's just you doing the R work. Okay, sound good, yeah, you're smiling. You're like, yeah, this sounds good. <laughs> All right, smiles for everybody, okay? I felt relief when I saw Joe giving us a plan of action to deal with this homework situation, and Rivers was ecstatic about it, and I think that that's gonna be a confidence builder for him. Get out your penmanship book. You are supposed to be doing your penmanship. When Hunter wouldn't sit down and do his homework, it was a perfect opportunity for me to teach mum how to do discipline properly. Take that piece of metal out of your mouth now before you break your teeth. Thank you. No, sir, I don't think so. It doesn't matter if you're playing. We're not playing right now. I couldn't believe my eyes. Mum was in his face and he couldn't care less. Place the pencil in my hand gently. Hunter, this is your warning, Hunter. Why'd you Hand have me to... the other pencil. Hand me the pencil. Hand, this is your last chance. Excuse me? This was no, your last warning. Last chance. This was it, your that, warning. That, that, no, 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 no. He's already had Ample a warning. Chance. He needs some discipline so he can go and sit up in his room and he can stay there for eight minutes and think about what he's done. And I suggest you tell him. Okay. You've got to step out, Amber. Otherwise, you're always going to get this from Hunter. It's all very well me stepping in and talking to Hunter, but I'm not Hunter's mother and I'm not going to be there forever. Mum needs to recognise that if she follows through, she will get that respect from Hunter, but she's going to need to work for it. Go to your room. Look what he's doing. Hunter, I'm talking to you. You have eight minutes in your room I'm and I will eight. let you know okay. when you... Okay. Hunter. I know you don't... Hunter, come here, please. Right now. Mum was really struggling to get Hunter to get into his room. 
And so I had to step in again. You see the stuff that you're doing there in the kitchen with your mum? It's not acceptable. Do you understand me? Now take yourself upstairs, please. And when those eight minutes were over, I went with mum to help her finish her first proper time out. Could you sit up and look at me, please? Could, Could you? you? Is that a question? Are you asking or are you telling? Sit up and look at me. Yeah. Do you know why you were sent to your room? Because I mistreated you. What should you do for mistreating mommy? Sorry. Amber recognises the importance now of discipline, but she needs to do it correctly. Her biggest challenge is going to be following through. I'm going for several days and I just don't know if mum can keep this up. I mean, only time will tell. I'm going away for three days. I've left quite a few techniques in this house to be followed through on. They certainly have a lot of homework to do and I really hope that they get these techniques underneath their belt because it's going to make a huge difference. Dad. Yes. If you get a chance for you to do anything with the boys that's just nurturing the emotional side, spot on. With Joe being gone, you know, these um, the rules are going to have to be enforced. You know, we, we cannot just let it slide. Amber, you showed good promise when you were stepping up doing discipline. I want to see you follow through and do that, OK? I've exhausted everything with Hunter, and I'm not really sure which way to turn now. And I'm not going to have Joe there to jump in and help me with that. That's going to be the toughest thing for me. All right. Ready to watch this DVD or not? Yeah, I'm ready. Know. We'll see. So, homework. Let's take a look and see how we got on with that. What do you mean you're done with this math? How can you be done with it? The first one I looked at, you ain't done. Is that supposed to be a two or a three right there? A three. Are you sure that's supposed to be a three? Yes. How about a two? We're going to finish those three. Because really, technically, you're supposed to work all the way up to page 36. <gasps> I'm not going to make you do it today, though. But we're taking your science book to the beach. Come here, before you leave. OK, this is your area here. But one thing I expect you to do is clean it up. Oh dear. Amber, what happened? Well, I go back and I look up all the answers to make sure he's answered them correct. It's not your homework. It's River's homework. I mean, it's one thing to look over work and say, hey son, you've got a couple wrong here and circle them. But you're doing it for him. You're over controlling. You have got to step back. Seriously, you're a pain in the butt. How is he learning? What's going to happen when the boy has to sit with 30 other kids and do an exam? How's he going to do it on his own? Let's move on to Dad's tone. OK. I'm not even going to do it. OK, well, that's your choice. Let me go downstairs. Listen, when I come back up here, you better be writing those spelling words, and you better have all this stuff here picked up. Pick this stuff up now. I will. No, you pick it up now. I am. Pick it up now. I'm going. I'm fixing to add an hour I'm to your going. time out. I'm Stop talking to me like that. Stop rushing me. I'm not rushing you. I'm asking you. you to, I'm asking you hurry, to pick up your stuff up. Out of my hurry up. I'm trying. You don't see me. Pick this stuff up. Me. Okay. Yay. Stop talking to me like that. Look that. at me. Look at me. Stop talking to me like that. I'm your daddy. You're not going to talk to me like that. Do you understand? Yeah. Listen, buddy, you're working hard on restriction. Do you understand? Oh, I thought it was an episode of boot camp going on there. Where did, where did I go wrong there? You walked in and your tone started off OK and you let him know what you needed to be done. And what you could have then said is, I'll be back in 20 minutes to see that you've done that. Or give me a call and you let me know when that's done and walk out. But when you didn't do that, he met you with the same of what you were delivering. And you just go around in this circle that's quite nasty. Uh, everything that you say is true. It's not just the boys changing. There's things that we've got to change. I'll take a moment to look at discipline and see how we got on here. You have yet to get your grammar out and do your grammar work as you were told to do. Go get your grammar book 
now. Sit down and do your grammar now. I am tired of asking. Now. Go to your room. Now. I'm trying to... Go to your room. I'm trying to get your Go room. to your room. Go to your room. You see what he's doing? He cannot move. You have invaded his space. And to be honest with you, 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 you're all but far from basically giving a slap across the backside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, you can see. I mean, I've been here before with parents. You've lost control there. You've lost control. I've gave you enough of warnings. So go to your room what? for eight minutes. Go. Because I don't like your attitude. I don't like the way I you're see. acting toward me. And you're not doing as I told you. Do not. Slam that door. I did not slam it. Okay, you can stay in your room for an hour. You get your grammar book and you go back to your room for another, I'm gonna tell you 30 minutes this time. Open this door. Better than that, you stay in your room until it's time to go to football. Do you understand me? Okay. You will not come out of this room until it's time to go to football. When you gave him a warning, you didn't allow him to be able to put things right. This boy didn't have, he didn't have a, a chance. chance. How do I decide? Eight minutes, 30 minutes, an hour in your room? You were told eight minutes full stop if it's to be in his room. When you step up as a parent and you implement discipline and you follow through very calmly, then you show them that you can be firm but fair. Mm -hmm. So we need to go over discipline again with you, okay? We do need to look at homework. We need to work on your tone. We need to work on your frustration with discipline and we need to get that underneath your belt. You need to be more clear on the discipline, otherwise it's going to become worse and more destructive. So we have got some more work to do. We're not out of the woods yet, as we oh, say. Yeah. So oh, yeah. uh, should we get cracking? Let's get Let's cracking. Get Having watched mum not following through with discipline, it was important for me to go and give her a nice reminder of what she needed to do. Discipline steps, warning, only one, follow through. And the last one here is makeup. Mm. That's it. I'm going to place them up here. Okay. So you start to memorise them. However, if you're in the heat of the moment and you have this memory loss, I'm going to ask you to wear this. Oh, with a scroll on it. Oh, now that's good. Mommy doesn't have any excuses. I'd put the discipline scroll up on the wall. Mum had looked at her tiny scroll a few times and I just wanted to see whether she was taking anything in. Um, uh, can you give me off the top of your head the three main points of discipline? Warning, follow through, make up. Mum had the three steps down, but it's one thing to say them. You gotta do it. I could see on the DVD that Mum just wasn't leaving Rivers alone when it came to him doing his homework. So I gave her one last exercise so that Rivers could get the space that he needed. This is what would normally happen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright there, Rivers? Are you able to do that? Are yeah, you alright there? Right. Uh, and what's that you're doing? Did I just break your concentration? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> alright. She's okay. picking on you, buddy. So, this is what would normally happen. <laughs> I think mum and dad have learnt from my example, but it remains to be seen whether they can resist temptation. The more you leave him to be independent in doing it, the more he'll learn how to cope. So we want you from here. Okay. All right? Staying out of the room's a good idea because it gives Rivers more independence. And it keeps me off of his back. We gotta let him go sometime and spread his wings. Sounds good. It's gonna create more space. This was a completely different mum to what I'd seen on the DVD. She was calm and she was leaving him be. Okay, fabulous. So I'm happy with this. Okay. If you find that he's coming into you a lot because now you don't go into him, I just want you to be able to say, you need to go back into your room and get on with what you're doing. Okay. 
and sure enough, rivers came out, just as I predicted. How about your spelling? Tires? Okay. You don't worry about this right now, okay? Okay, you don't worry about this right now. Rivers. Good. How you handled that was good. Well, thank you very much. You were just calmer. It's a lot more productive and you're less stressed. I think Mum's come a long way. She's not barking in his face and she's not doing River's homework for him. And that's got to be better for the whole family, let's face it. Before I left, there was one other thing I wanted to do with Dad. You see Dad all the time connect with his boys when he's really physical and he rough houses with them. Get him, honey, get him. But I wanted him to connect with his boys in a more emotional way. So I asked him to get out some old photos and talk to the boys about the day they were born. Guess what I got? A baby <laughs> Let's look at Rivers first. This is a picture of you inside of Mommy's belly. We found out that it was a little boy, and I was so excited. You always want a little boy. Always want a little boy. You can't describe it, how wonderful it is sitting out on a blanket and taking some pictures of Hunter and Rivers and talking about things that we don't talk about every day. And that's Rivers, look like a little peanut head sticking <laughs> up right now. To have the boys out there, those are the kind of moments that you will remember. Look at Dad there, Rivers. Look how happy you are. And guess who changed your first diaper? You did. I did. Thank you. Then, Mama was pregnant with Hunter. There he is. Yeah. That's a little cannonball. <laughs> Sitting down and actually listening to Greg talk about when the boys were born was a nice moment. You could see that Dad was connecting with the boys on an emotional level. Look, look at your mommy. She looks like she's about to puke. But unfortunately, it was ruined when Hunter became very disrespectful. Your mom did a lot for you. She sacrificed for you. Can you imagine having to be in your mommy's belly for nine months? I can I imagine think... puking all over. Hunter, stop. stop. Uh, hey, look at me. That's your warning. OK, that's your warning. I know. How was mommy feeling? Mommy actually had some complications, so she had to stay in the hospital a few days. But uh, she was very she excited. She was puking and vomiting. Hunter. I know what he's saying. That look was at we're talking out here. But inevitably, Hunter continued being smart with his mouth and he ended up having to do a timeout. Hunter's going to timeout. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for me as a father to have to sit there and listen to my son say those things. But you're doing something about it, and that's what's important. And when Hunter played up, it gave Dad an opportunity there and then to deal with the discipline technique. Okay, so uh, it's been about eight minutes now. I saw from the DVD that the last time Dad was in Hunter's room, it became a shouting match. Right, this time, Dad needed to follow through with discipline and keep his cool. I'm asking you to tell me what you did and apologize for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for disrespecting my buddy now. Okay. Now, come here and give me a hug. Boy. Uh... I was proud of Greg. He was firm but fair. He kept very calm, and I do feel that I'm able to leave Greg knowing how to discipline properly. Bye, boys. Wow, <laughs> baby. I would have really missed Joe when she goes away, but I know we can't have her there forever. So once she's gone, she's gone. Different man. I've seen the emotional man now, ain't I? <laughs> no, no, Look at that. I'm seeing you. I'm looking at your no, face. No, no. Joe comes in and she's laid out the, the foundation and the groundwork. So it's up to us now as a family to make it happen. You have to maintain it for it to work. Keep up your work. Take care.